Instagram will mess up your relationship. <laughs> and it's not even the platform, it's the way that you use it. It's the, guys, I could go in about this. So obviously guys, it is not snowing anymore. It is like mostly raining. It's snowing, but it looks like rain. <sighs> you just don't, you just can't predict anything in these streets. <laughs> but um, yeah guys. I guess we can go back inside now. Nothing really fun happening out here. So guys, I found this lovely magazine here at my parents' house. Look at this! Look at Cardi B! Yes, boo! So, it's been a while since I looked at a magazine, but you can really get a lot of inspiration in here. Um, but one topic that I want to check out is this right here. Could you be cheating? Could you be guilty of micro cheating? Could he? Let's see where that is, guys. Micro cheating. What do you think that is? I'm guessing it could be like mm, paying a little bit more attention to someone rather than who you are exclusively with. Um, let's see. I don't think they're talking about. Um, where's the table of contents? Table of contents, table of contacts, what, what do you call it? Table of contacts, tents, show, oh look at her, yes boo, yes boo, she's referring for the people with freckles, yes girl, do it. I'm gonna check out, oh what do you guys think about these wide leg jeans? It looks like, uh, it, it reminds me of bell bottoms, honestly. <laughs> Doesn't mean that I wouldn't try it. I would totally try. I would try it this way with a nice like crop um, Something tight on top and then everything else kind of loose. I would wear that maybe with like some flat sandals Some heels in the evening. It's cute Yes Denim is going nowhere guys. It is here to stay um, Okay, boo I just love seeing like amazing things like this. Splits happen. Here's how to deal. Mm. That's a nice picture. But these shoes, these shoes are taking over the attention. Six signs he may be a jerk. <laughs> he barely responds to your texts and can't nail down plans with you. He doesn't seem to listen when you talk or he changes the subject often. The only compliments he dishes out are backhanded. Wow. He gets easily irritated and snaps at waiters or drivers. Hmm. He can't bring up his ex's name without insulting her. He won't meet your friends or ask about them either. Wow. Six signs he may be a jerk. Hmm. Ah, uh, so many love and relationship uh, advice, pieces of advice that we often kind of forget when we're actually in the situation. Okay, are you micro cheating is he? And there's like a long, I mean long paragraphs about this thing right here, but we're gonna kind of skip to the points here. Warning signs. Some clues you're paddling in the shallows of danger include dressing differently when you know you're going to see, going to be seeing a certain person withholding information from your significant other about who you're hanging with during after work drinks or lying by omission it could also be the fact that you're always liking and commenting on oh god instagram instagram i'm telling you guys instagram instagram will mess up your relationship <laughs> and it's not even the platform it's the way that you use it it's the guys i could go in about this instagram it wasn't even Instagram, it was social media, Facebook, Facebook, face, you know what, it's not bad. 
Facebook and Instagram will give you clues as to the type of person that you're dealing with. You can check in on their likes and comments. Like, I don't know if they realize this, but you know, you can check on what they like and they 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 comment on based on the the page, the page next to the page that tells you when people like your like and comment on your page. You can you can totally know if they're liking and commenting, especially when they didn't call you back. Like you call them and they're not calling, they're not texting back, and you go on social media and you realize, wait, they just liked this picture like 10 minutes ago. Look, I don't like to be that type of girlfriend, but social media will give you clues. Social media gave me clues when I was dating someone and I saw like the things that they would like, which was like half skimpy pictures pop up. And I started seeing these things very often. Facebook, Facebook alerted me. And as soon as when, <laughs> look, as soon as I would log in, Facebook let me know, like right there. And like as if they were trying to speak to me and tell me, look, this person is no good. I would log in on Facebook, just minding my business, wouldn't even bother to be looking. I wouldn't even know that there was anything to look for. I would log in, just log in, and all of a sudden I would see this picture of somebody I don't know. I scroll down and they're telling me, oh, so-and-so liked this picture. And I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> so yeah, that's when you start seeing clues. Social media will let you know. I don't know how Facebook knew that I should know but they told me and I'm very grateful because to this day uh, yeah this person definitely is the same person I'm glad I didn't go forward with that relationship micro cheating I don't even think that's micro these are signs that lead up to something bigger but let's check out what else they have going on in this article before we check out the rest of the article I want to know what do you guys think about like say okay so you're starting to date someone or you're in a relationship with them and no you're in a relationship with them and you see that they're liking and commenting on other girls pictures what do you do what can you do what do you say is it something that you speak up about or is it something that you just let slide like what do you do because I believe this is my opinion guys you know but you could let us know down below what you think there's just so many comments and different things that you should comment down below in this video but yes nonetheless comment for me I would be a little offended especially if you're constantly liking these pictures especially if these are scanty pictures like what are you doing why are you on social media so much I don't like when somebody's on social media a whole lot and now they have the DM, so you really won't know whether or not they're talking to somebody on the slide. So look, when someone has too many social media platforms, I automatically get turned off because social media allows you to speak to someone privately. Like, you don't even need to be public. You could privately talk to them. You know, it's just, there's just so many ways in which your eyeballs can attach to different things and keep you like distracted on the main thing that you should be focusing on it kind of like it's a it's a, it's a distraction i believe it's a distraction when you use it the wrong way in a relationship but what do you guys think and what would you do if someone is liking and commenting constantly and you're in a relationship with them and they're not liking and commenting on your pictures they're liking and commenting on other people's pictures so they're on, on this page they're giving a scale and I don't know okay so these are the different things in which um, different scenarios in which you could be like micro cheated on as according to this uh, magazine I effing a total stranger on the street wandering eyes one thing I don't like changing your appearance with a specific person in mind Kissing someone else on the cheek, but getting some lip. Mm -mm. <laughs> Forgetting to mention your boo where it would feel natural to bring them up in conversation. Yeah, that's definitely a big one. Like, if you're in a scenario in which you're meeting someone um, that your bae <laughs> is uh, 
is talking to and they don't mention that you are their girlfriend that's a problem that is a problem and you can always tell where you stand with someone based on how they introduce you to their friends and family mm. but anyways <laughs> hiding your phone from your bay guys in this century hiding your phone really is a telltale sign like something is up and you are hiding something there is something wrong you are doing because your phone is very personal it holds everything pretty much your life if you can't share that there's an issue flirting obviously in front of your partner i've dealt with that on a date where someone was obviously flirting with the bartender but i digress chatting or texting someone else every day Mm. Sitting on a lot that doesn't belong to your partner, obviously. Giving out your phone number, obviously. Holding hands with someone else. Hmm. <laughs> one thing I don't like are the wandering eyes. I was on a date with someone and we were out, you know, grabbing some drinks and watching a, a game. I think it was some kind of like, um, not karate, but some kind of like fight. And... You know, we were just talking about the game and, you know, just chilling, vibing, and talking. The bartender comes around and, you know, because we're at the bar, we're constantly seeing them moving around, getting their drinks together and stuff. Why is he watching her every time and then making, like, little comments and trying to be funny every time she comes around? Like, no. Stop being funny, okay? I need you to be funny with me, not her. <laughs> and then, like, asking me little questions, like, as it relates to her. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so when I make my list, which I have made a list, I took the advice of my online counselor and wrote a list of the things that I like, that the things that I want in a potential mate, and the things that I don't want. And one of the things that I don't want is someone with wandering eyes. That is a big thing. I don't like wandering eyes, guys. But anyway, guys, comment down below your comments as to how you would, first of all, how you would deal with a situation in which your significant other is texting, commenting, liking all these pictures on social media. Do you think it's a big, do you think it's a big deal or not? Like... Some, to some of you, it might not be a big deal. It might just be social media. But to some of you, it may be a big deal. Hmm. And um, the other comments that I said in this video. <laughs> and um, how you... May, have you been micro-cheated on? And how you dealt with that situation? Were you ever the victim of a micro-cheater? Let me know and how because these things lead up to something bigger guys I was a victim of it and it led to something bigger for me and These are little signs. These are little signs that tell you exactly what the person is about anyway guys Let me know down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say I'm gonna get on to this video that refuses to upload on here and I'm gonna be right back guys But subscribe to check out many more videos Join our date at 8. Guys, I'm going to be more consistent. I've been late to our dates. I'm so sorry, guys. But join our date at 8 where we talk and we upload 8 a.m., 8 p.m. 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. You will see me here Monday to Friday with something new and fresh for you. And new pieces, new engagement, you know, comments, th things that you can talk about uh, down below and comment and kind of discuss, you know. Anyway, guys. I'm going to end this video. It's super long. I already know. Uh, yes, guys. I can't wait to comment and engage you down below. So go, go ahead down below and continue commenting and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys later at 8. Bye.